Hi everyone, Zachary Leo here from Toronto Chi Young. Today I'd like to talk to you about a meditation or a quick exercise I call the three points of focus. Now, with these three points of focus, you can do them in a proper meditation, which I'll guide you through how to do in a structural way. And then you can also just loosely use these anytime, anywhere, once you understand where the points of focus are, because they all have different indicators depending on the circumstances you're in. So that's a great point. You just have to breathe into them after, once you know the references. So beginning, I'm going to show or talk about where the points are, then I'll talk about the indications how to use them in a Qigong perspective. So first off, the first point is called Kidney One or the Bubbling mm. Well. I'm going to use my hand here as a reference to help you look at your foot. So imagine this is the sole of your foot right here. To locate Bubbling Well, we're going to go two-thirds down and underneath these knuckle parts of the toes. And then we're going to look for the center part and there should be a nice little hollow spot right here. And it's going to be different for everyone. It could be more up, could be more down, it could be even to the left or right a little bit. You just have to focus on where it is on you, but once you hit it, it feels a little bit hollow and it feels a little bit tender, but it's really middle of the sole underneath these knuckle parts. And then when you're massaging or pressing these, you should really just be like, oh, that's tender there. And you may have to move around a bit, but this is the first point, middle of the sole, about two thirds down underneath these knuckle parts. Kidney one, bubbling well. That's the first reference. The second reference is Chi Hai or Ren 6. You can find this putting your four fingers directly underneath your belly button on this midline area. And when you measure about four fingers down, once you find it, you can press in. And you'll notice if you've watched my uh, Lower Don Tian video, that this is where the lower dantian is. Now, the reference here is we would be actually using this as a breathing point. All these points are of focus. So lower dantian would be the second point, or this Ren 6, or C of Qi. The last point is called Yin Tong. Now, this is used to calm the mind, and you can locate this by really just it's right in between the middle of the eyebrows, right here. Uh, if any of you have done yoga or chakra work, you may know this as the third eye. However, we call this yin tong in Chinese medicine. And this would be your final third point of focus. So understanding these references now of kidney one being in the middle of the sole of the foot, Ren 6, or Qi Hai being four fingers directly underneath the belly button on the midline, and then Yin Tong being in between the eyebrows or where the third eye is, these are our three points of reference. Now let's talk about how we will use them then in these points of reference. So let's start off with Kidney 1 working our structural up. Alright, so I'm really stressed, I'm angry, I have emotions going through me, I just need to get things out of my system. Well. You can breathe all these negative emotions out straight through kidney one into the earth and letting the earth take care of it. That's the good thing about kidney one. It grounds you to the earth. It's almost that, well, physical ground that you're always pressing your soul against. And when you're walking, you're always pumping your foot, right? Remember, Qigong is always about awareness first and foremost. So when I start focusing and being aware of points, I can start utilizing them to do certain things. So if I'm going to focus on kidney one, I can walk and I can exhale all the negativity out when I'm walking, for example. Just a quick idea right there. I'll let you come up with other functions, but that's just one way you can use kidney one in terms of exhaling all the negativity out into the earth. The next one would be Chi Hai or Ren 6. So I'm scattered today. I don't really exactly know what's happening. I'm a little bit flustered. I just need something to go to. Well, go to your central axis, as we would call it. This is the center of gravity. It's also your lower Don Tian. And when we focus on and really breathe into this point, then I can be like, oh, okay, th things aren't so bad. I can kind of just grab myself. I can solidify myself. I can f start really just seeing things how they are, not moving around, so you're nervous about something. 
breathe into your abdomen, specifically Ren 6, or that Chi High point. I'm a little bit flustered. Okay, breathe into that point. So when we want to focus in terms of actually grounding yourself, uh, centralizing yourself, solidifying yourself, all these types of analogy words, we want to be focusing on something that's going really just put that beam right into you and focus. And that's what REN6 does. It's a great solidifier of things. Then let's move to Yin Tong. Now, I was debating if we should do other acupuncture points, but the one I find the most helpful in terms of, say, focusing is Yin Tong, right in between the middle of the eyes here. And this third eye region, as we would call it, it's great in terms of calming the spirit or calming the Shen in Chinese medicine and calming the mind. So if you were to even just breathe into it right now as you're listening to me, you may notice that, oh, uh, yes, I'm starting to focus, but my mind's starting to quiet down. This is a great one if you're trying to study for things or if you just need to concentrate a little bit more or kind of block out distractions. This is a great, uh, great point of reference in terms of just s calmly settling everything. So understanding the three points of reference um, you can understand then you can use this anytime. You could be walking, you, you could be at work, you, you could be just about anywhere. And you would just need to shift your focus consciously and breathe into that point, which once you start breathing into it, you'll notice probably within the first few minutes of just even doing that, you'll notice a, a quick change in your state of mind and your physiology in terms of how you feel physically. It's because these are great points in terms of they more or less work on really doing what they do well. I would say then from a meditation standpoint, you would start from the bottom up. So you would start with kidney one, you would just even breathe into it. You may not have to even put the conscious intention of letting go of negativity through the center of the foot, but if you like to, that's fine. We're just focusing on breath and actual awareness of points now. So breathing into kidney one, moving up to Ren 6 or Chi Hai, then moving up to Yin Tong. And then if I want to conclude this meditation, say I'm doing this for a few moments or minutes, and I'm focusing really for about two to three minutes on every single point just to get a certain systemic effect, I will always return back to Ren 6 or the point four fingers directly underneath the belly button just to solidify myself and because it is really the middle ground between the yang being the head and then the earth being kidney one so working on those heaven earth access points being yin tong being the yang and again kidney one being the yin we always go back to the center being ren six which will always leave you grounded and feeling better after you finish your meditation so, for more information, go to TorontoQigong.com, and if you'd like to hear any type of information in terms of techniques or just theory, do feel free to email me, subscribe to the channel below, and I'll see you all another time.